I'm Oliver Smith, I'm with Sony Online Entertainment and I'm a producer with the company and you're watching Platform 32. Welcome to Bullet Run. Bullet Run is a free-to-play first-person shooter for the PC, which has just become available for the gaming public to download. I played the game at E3, and although it struck me as not much more than a standard Twitch-based shooter, I was surprised at how fun it actually was, and how well the game world was presented. While I was there, I spoke to Oliver Smith, a senior project manager at Sony Online Entertainment, and asked him to give me the Bullet Rundown. <laughs> Team Deathmatch. Yeah, Bullet Run is a free-to-play first-person shooter. Um, it's basically set in a reality TV show. So think Big Brother meets pro wrestling, but with guns. Being as it's based on a reality TV show, you're not just judged on your shooting abilities in the game. Here, you're also playing to win the affections of the audience, so you're also awarded points for style. Can you explain how this works? The way I think of it is, you know, back in the day when I used to watch pro wrestling, WWE, WWF, I always saw these stylized characters. I saw The Undertaker, Hulk Hogan, you know, these guys, they have a very unique look to themselves. So when you go into uh, a match, you're going to see these people and you're going to recognize them. You're going to be like, oh, that's that guy who's number one on the leaderboard. I'm either going to fear him or it's going to be a challenge for me to go in and take him out. We provide full player customization through the in-game marketplace as well as just uh, base character creation. You can uh, change your weapons, you can add decals, you can change the look, you can add modifiers. There's going to be a lot of different uh, clothing options for you. And all these things build style for your character. This style is also used to compute additional end of game bonuses like additional credits, more experience, things of that nature. But it's not just a big game of dress up, is it Oliver? You can also earn style points through the use of taunts as well. Right? Essentially what we want to do is we want to create uh, a very competitive environment for these people. You, it's not a simple, I shoot you and I happen, you know, at the end of the game I have 10 kills, you have 5, so I'm number 1. No, it's all about taunting, it's about being badass, it's about saying, hey, I just killed you and you know what? I want the whole world to see it, I want them to see how badass I am. You know what? I may be a little bit easier to kill, but that's worth it because you know what? You're on the ground and you're dead, now I'm still up here kicking your ass. Obviously, taunts, weapons and clothing options can be bought or grinded for if you're a patient, poor person like myself, but there are also other things you can get your sweaty little virtual mitts on if you have the cash or time, the most important of those being the special weapons and skills. More info! Go! Some of the weapons that we have, uh, we have uh, weapons that are called, you know, the black weapons. You know, these apps actually have a third modifier versus the base weapons, as well as we have um, eight skills at launch that are going to be available. These skills um, open up additional abilities for you. So, like, for instance, there's one ability called the Neurofang. Once you've unlocked it, you can drop a spider on the ground. He'll run around the zone and you actually uh, go into a camera mode in the, in, the, in the spider, so you're actually controlling him. Once you find an enemy, you can attack him, have him in, you know, rooted in spot, and send your guy right after him and take him out. There's eight different abilities that are tiered, so depending on uh, you know, the level you are, you can uh, continue to increase the abilities, you know, the strength and duration of how long they're available, and make yourself really the character that you want to play. You know, the game is all about creating an atmosphere where you're it's tailored to your gameplay. It's not like, okay, I'm stuck in this class, I'm stuck in that class. It's like, no, it's stuck in, you know, whatever you want to create. It's all about you and your the look and the weapons that you're using to play and fight. During my playthrough at E3, I noticed some really wacky costumes, with one of the standouts being a recreation of Heath Ledger's Joker character, while another guy dressed head to toe in a gimpy leopard skin costume. What do you like to dress your character up as? You know, I'm, I'm still actually playing around with it. Um, you know, Prior to E3, I was creating characters that I thought looked cool. Then I saw here what some of the players have been making, what you know some of the developers are making. It's like, all right, I need to go back, you know, from the drawing board and recreate the look of my character because some of these characters look pretty badass. And you know, I think that's the thing. You want to create a character that looks memorable because you know when you run up against that guy, like a, you know we were running to, that's dressed up like a leopard, full leopard outfit. I just want to kick his ass just for dressing in that, you know? It, it, it's all about your look and style, but it's all about your personality and how you want it to be. Do you want it to be wacky or do you want it to be more militaristic? 
it, it's all up to you. It, you know, there's so many different customization options out there that you can make it the way you want to make it. And one of the cool things about it is we have full launch support for this game. Uh, once it's launched, we're going to have weekly, monthly, quarterly updates, uh, and a lot of these things are going to be free. You know, we're not out there to, you know, continue to sell, you know, thirty, forty dollar, you know, DLC packs. You know, we're looking to really give players a good experience because the game is ultimately a free-to-play game, and that's what we want to, you know, we want to be out there. We want players to really engage in it, and I think having it be free to play, we're going to get a lot of players in there. Thanks, Oliver. I love the thought of being able to create my own online persona for Bullet Run, and the fact that the best players could become virtual celebrities recognised in an instant by their own distinct look does sound pretty awesome. But I'm still slightly worried that the game could fade into the background due to its basic shooter gameplay and the huge amount of free-to-play FPS games emerging at the moment. Still, I would recommend that every PC gamer give it a try, as it's completely free to play, and shooter fans in general should find something there to love, as its core gameplay is simple but solid and very, very entertaining. Now get out there gamers and don't come back until you are rich and famous. Rich and famous from the killing of people for the pleasure of an unseen audience. Oh, you sick, sick bastards. Bullet Run. Fame at any cost.